What's up, guys? So, today I have a talker for you. This is going to be uh, just a smaller, kind of boring video. I will talk about the future, so there's plans and, and everything, but um, for this video, if you're not really interested in that kind of stuff, I'm not really going to be doing anything other than AFKing. I looned. Well, not AFKing because I'm right here, but you know what I mean. Um, so yeah, just this might not be the video for you if you're not interested in any of that. But if you do want to hear talker, I don't know, you just click the video and you're playing Revival or playing something else or whatever, then, you know, I'll, I'll, I'll get to it. So, so the main thing I want to talk about is someone was, um, so was talking to me about the, um, the absence I had recently, and they were mad that I didn't have a more, um, apologetic or open video about it. So, the first video I made, it was basically just, hey, I'm back, um, you know, well, I'm glad to be back, let's, let's get started. And the big reason for that is I don't think it made any difference. I didn't think that, you know, apologizing to people would, would do anything one way or another. I think the people who have negative opinions are going to have negative opinions. People who have positive opinions are going to have positive opinions. People who are neutral are probably going to be neutral. Um, I think the only thing that really matters is action. And that's why I decided not to do the video. I didn't think it made... It just wouldn't help me to go, Oh, I'm sorry. That sucks. That sucks. The server's down. I'm, oh, my bad. Well, you know, make all these empty promises. It just, I didn't, I didn't think anybody wanted to hear that. I didn't think it mattered to anybody. Um, I think the only thing that matters is actual, you know, is, is, is proving what you're saying, right? So if I say I'm going to update and I don't end up updating, what, what, what was the good of that? And then if I don't say anything at all and I update, you know, that's, that's, that's basically what we've done. And um, I know that the key to the server's success and longevity and everything like that is just consistent updates. That's, that's the main thing. That's the only thing that anybody cares about. Um, you do have to advertise that you've made, can, you know, new updates and stuff like that. So that is a big part of it, too. We do have to get advertisements. But the main thing that people care about is if the game is getting improvements, whether or not. Like, that, that's it. That's all that matters. It doesn't matter if the game's not being, you know, updated. And I'm, I have good reasons for it. I don't know. Let's say I lost... I, I have a head now. I'm just, I'm just a head. I lost my torso, my arms, legs. Just a head. doesn't matter, right? The The... You know, at the end of the day, the server would still not be getting updated, regardless of whether or not I had good reasons or not. So, um, I will talk about my reasons, just because I, I, you know, I, I feel, obviously, I feel like, you know, I had not good reasons, because, you know, I should have made better arrangements. But I'll talk about that in a bit. I just wanted to, to start this video off by, you know, letting you guys know that um, I didn't want to, you know, I didn't want to come out and just make a bunch of empty promises. Um, I don't want to, you know, sound like I'm not apologetic. I do, I do feel bad for the way things went. I should have made better arrangements to... To keep the server at least somewhat more active than it was, um, I made sure that the server was was fully funded. I paid, uh, you know, all of it. Um, there was no issues with the server ever going down. Uh, I, I, you know, I made a commitment to that. And, and whether people believe it or not, that's you know, that's here or there. Um, but I, you know, I knew that the server was going to stay up 100%. Um, and you know, if anything happened, obviously I would be there to fix it. But that doesn't matter. In-game updates, consistent updates, that's what matters. And if I couldn't provide that, I, it just didn't seem uh, worth it to talk. So, I mean, I've asked people on Discord uh, how they feel about stuff like that, and they want communication, right? A lot of people want communication. They want me to just send a message, hey, you know, I have no news, but I'm here alive. I, I just don't see the value in that, personally. If, if that's what people want, just to know that I'm still around, um, then, you know, I'll do that. I'll, I'll do I'll do with that, if that makes sense for other people. Just me, personally, it just doesn't make sense, you know what I mean? I think updates is the only thing that matters. So, if I'm, if I'm not here doing updates, um, who cares? You know, uh, who cares if I was sorry about it? That doesn't really make a difference. And, and that's really kind of how the world works nowadays. No one cares anymore. Um, with, like, let, let, let's talk about the a friend situation. So a while back, a friend made a, a big sellout video for a gambling website. Um, I mean, it's not allowed. I think he was banned. I don't, I, don't, I don't know. But basically, big sellout move. And then everybody was like, oh, this is crazy. A friend sold out. We're going to dislike all of his videos. And then he made a video, and he's like, oh, I'm, you know, I made, I made, they gave me $100,000. What was I going to do? Not take $100,000? Screw you guys. I'm going to take $100,000. I'm going to take the money. Basically, just makes a video bragging about it after all the backlash. And you think, okay, well, he's done, right? No. Nope. <laughs> nope. A friend is bigger than ever. No one even cares. I think no one even remembers. Uh, I don't remember what his sub count was. He's got, uh. Uh, he's definitely got more. If you check any of his videos, the views will probably be way up. The likes will be there. Uh, I mean, look at that. No one, no one cares. He completely sold out, made a video of him selling out. Not a single person cares or remembers. So I think all of this energy and effort I've put into things that just no one gives a shit about. And I think from moving forward, I think I'm just like, like I just, that that's where I'm at right now, you know, in life. I just, I don't care. I, I, I have a commitment to the server. 
I want, I want the, you know, I have goals, right? I have goals. It's, it's a fun game. It's supposed to be a game. That's the intention. If you're not having fun, then I don't think you should be playing it. It's a game, right? I don't play, you know, I'm not sitting here playing Minecraft because I, I, I don't enjoy it. Like, oh, yeah, I hate this game, but I'm going to play it. I mean, the only game I hate that I play is football. And that's because I love football and hate Madden. <laughs> I just hate Madden. Madden. I mean, if you've, if you've ever played Madden, you'll know that it's just a complete disaster of a game. But I love football, so I have no choice but to play it. I, I don't know if people feel that way about this, like you love RuneScape, but so you you, I, you know what I mean? I don't, I don't know. If, if you're enjoying the game, play it. If you're not, don't. If you have suggestions that you think would improve the game, I want to hear it. People always think I'm this dictator that I just do whatever I want or I, I won't listen to the community. It's not. That's not the case at all. At all. You can provide any suggestions. If you don't think I'm reading them, I am. I do want to, like make a better effort to like um actually prove that i'm uh you know that i'm i'm doing you know that i'm listening to your suggestions so whenever i do updates and whatnot i want to try to include who gave me that suggestion who gave me that bug report just so you guys know because people never believe i don't know why you don't believe it because if you look at the suggestions stuff that's been suggested is added now obviously people will suggest things that are just not possible i've had people suggest oh what if we, what if we had this mini game where we ride dragons and everybody has a lance and we'll run the two dragons will run at each other and whoever gets knocked out. i mean like i can't code that dude i can't code that even a little bit so if you have like things that, that are just not possible for one reason or another um you know, it is what it is, right? So, I mean, like, bank space is one that, that people always talk about, right? Uh, it's just not possible. 550 was the highest. We can get. Now, we might be able to, like, I, I, don't, I don't know for certain if 550 was the exact number. Maybe it could have been, like, 552. I, I don't recall. But this was all dark. So, dark is a better coder than me. So, if, if it's, if it can't be done by him, you know, it's definitely not going to be done by me. That's just kind of how it goes. And what happens when you have the bank space is that the, the, the I, I think it's the client related issue um items would just be like in negative space basically let's say i had a full inventory spot like a full bank right 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 in one tab they would just be like floating down here where you wouldn't be able to access them until you like redeemed other ones um and then and has as how to fix that i have no clue i i i don't know i dark is kind of at the point where he doesn't even really want to work on this this, ca this server anymore because um we're almost you know we're two and a half two and a half years down the road and we still have a ton of issues. We still, you know, there's still a million things that need to be fixed. Our client is still a disaster. And there's, you know, probably, I mean, there's new ones always around the corner with new data and stuff like that. So it's just, it's tough. It's, I know people want bank space. It's not me being a dick and going, oh, you know what, I'm just, I think 550 fine. You know, it, that's just, that's what we can have. If we could ever find a way to make, I, I, you know, I, I don't know exactly what, exactly what the issue is. I think it has something to do with the interface. If we can ever figure that out, I'm sure we, 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 we would, right? You know what I mean? So if you suggest things we can't do, it just is what it is. I, I'll try to do what I can, but please suggest things. If you, if, if an update happens that's like, you know, I don't, I don't, I don't waste my time pulling updates because there's just no point. Like if, like if we have, okay, so we have, um, 18 people on right so let's just say i, I pulled something and most people would just be great they'd be go yeah sure or 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 a lot of things that are really controversial like the one that comes up a lot is an eco reset everybody you know there's a crowd that wants eco resets and then the, there's a, a, an even bigger crowd that doesn't and people always think oh you're not you know you're just you're just doing what you want i i know if you if right now we pulled should we eco reset i'd probably be about 35 percent yes probably about 45 percent hell hell no i'll quit and then a, you know a good chunk of people that are just like eh, whatever i don't care and how, what am i supposed to do with that you know what i mean like i said i'm not gonna so I, I can't i can't justify resetting the entire game because one third of the population wants it another third is eh, and then another third would completely quit outright hate hate the decision you know what I, mean? I can't make any decisions based on that it's one of those things where it'll never be black and white you know it'll never be 75 yes 25 no it's always going to be 30 30 30 40 60 50 50 it's never going to be one way or another and if it ever is then obviously we would make the changes we felt necessary um so i mean that's the, that's the, that's really the, all i'll say about that uh, i've kind of gotten on a tirade i'm not even at at the boss i'm at but yeah i just uh i, I just th i just know that uh, the only thing that matters is actual in-game updates and consistency with those updates. Now, if I'm if I'm here going, oh, I'm sorry guys, sorry guys, sorry guys, it doesn't matter. It doesn't make a difference. If and I always talk about like I was talking about the, a friend situation, it doesn't make a difference. He he not only got not only did he get a hundred thousand dollars 
for one video, he got all the extra publicity, all the extra likes, and all that. Now, it, it worked out perfectly for him. No one cares. And 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 it has the opposite effect too. Where me, I try to you know I try to be on the up and up. I don't have a lot of like the high tier stuff, like the um, the boss invasion stuff. None of that is in the donator store. And that's I mean that if, if it was any other server, they would sell that stuff immediately. And no one cares about that either. No one really rewards it for it. And I'm sure if I added that stuff, people would call me a scumbag and all that. that and, that, and that would be just. I'm just saying no one, you know, I, I need to stop patting myself on the back because no one really gives a crap. I don't advertise on my videos. Um, if you're seeing any advertisements on my video, it has nothing to do with me. I will show you right now. Uh, I probably should. I don't know if I should or not. I'm just going to do it. I'm just going to do it. You're going <laughs> to see. Uh, where's my videos? I don't know how to do it anymore because they made you like... For a while, you can, like, stave off the updates, but now they've made it, so you, uh, you can't... I'm making 46 cents. That's the revenue. I don't know from where. My guess is one video does have advertisements that is getting views, but if I go to here, monetization off, 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 off. It should be off on, like, 99% of these videos, and I've always, you know, patted myself on the back about that. No one cares. I need to stop patting myself on the back. No one gives a shit. What, you know, that's, like, it's just pointless. You just, you just, the only thing that matters is the outcome. People watch videos because they like a friend's videos. They don't care. They don't care if he's scumbag sold out for $100,000. They don't care. They, they, they like the videos, they're going to watch the videos. They, you like the server, you're going you're gonna to play the server. You don't, you don't. So moving forward, I'm just going to, I'm just going to do my best to, to provide the one thing I know for certain matters, and that's consistent updates. Um, as far as the decisions we make with the updates, you know, who knows? Every update's going to be different. We'll make good decisions, we'll make bad decisions. Some updates will be overpowered, some will be underpowered. That's just the process of, of coding, you know? I mean, I've learned a lot. I've learned a lot about what not to do and, and what to do, but at the same time, you, you know, I don't know what I'm going to code in the future. I, I, have, I have ideas, plans, but you never know what kind of issues could arise from that. You, know, you just never know. Um, but I do know that updates matter, <laughs> so I know that much. And I'm going to stick with that. That'll be my... I don't know what he's trying to shame me here. This is a boss master right here. Is an admin account that... Uh, was this the pet? Why are you giving me the pet? Is it just to show me that it was tradable? Or is this not the pet? No, that is a pet. I'll take it, I guess. I think I already have one. Do I have one? Yeah. Yeah, I'll take it, though. Ha! Snag. But, uh, yeah, we're going to do events. Um, multiple... We have two community managers now. And we want to have more events and stuff like that. And that is one of the accounts we will be massing on. It has the Gatter Hammer, which is kind of like a P-Ring weapon. So we'll host events on that all the time. I do want to do a drug stream shoe when I keep talking about it. Um, John and I have talked about it. We just It just depends on his schedule. His schedule isn't so straightforward. You know, he doesn't just have a straight-up day that he knows he'll have off. Um, so whatever he can, we'll do it. Um, and then the last thing I want to talk about for this... Oh, and I guess I didn't really talk about why, you know, what happened. I... I don't want to get into it too much because, as I was just ranting a couple seconds ago, then it doesn't really matter. It doesn't. It doesn't matter. Um, I don't know. Depression is a real thing. It happens to everybody. I, I don't. I don't. I think if you ask anybody who's suffering for it, like from it, that there's no real answer to how you got into it or how you got out. Sometimes there are straightforward answers. I mean, obviously, if you like, if you somebody in your family died, you'd probably go into spiral. Um, there's, you know, there's plenty of different reasons. Everybody's different. And for me, it just got to a point where. I just didn't want to do anything anymore. You, you, you have you ever been in that like those moods where you just like you've lost interest in everything? Like you don't even want to be, uh, like you, there's nothing. Like you don't even want to be awake. It's just not worth it. You just you wake up and then you're like, oh shit, I'm awake. Now I gotta wait like ten hours before I go back to bed, and it's just like just torment. And and when I was in those like the, 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 the deepest darkest moments, it just became impossible to work on the server. Like I would have all of, I have my coding stuff open like twenty four seven. Um, I definitely shouldn't show you because that says something about address, and I hope it doesn't say, like, <laughs> IP address or anything like that. I'm not going to mess over with it. But I always have my coding stuff open, and any time I was just, like, I had the client, and I'm, like, you know, like, trying to figure out what I remember, what I needed to do, and everything, I just, like, I don't know, I had, like, panic attacks. and just couldn't do it. It just became, it became like, physically impossible to, to, to like, find the motivation to, to do any of my hobbies or, or work on the server or anything, you know, play any game. And, um... I don't know exactly what got out of it. I, I just found, I found a new hobby. I don't, I don't want to talk about that. I'm not going to talk about my, I'm not, I'm not going to talk about it. But I did find a new hobby, and that's just sort of got me, re, you know, uh, you know, I was excited about it, excited about the future. And then randomly one day, it just became easier and easier to code. I actually would, like, wake up and, you know, do coding straight up, like, not with anything else going on. Just like, oh, you know what, I'm going to work on what I know needs to be done. And um, I'm... 
you know, I'm, I'm at that point now where I'm, you know, I'm, it's like 3 a.m. and I'm like, dang, I need to go to bed so I can wake up tomorrow and work on some stuff. You know, I'm, I'm finally at a point where I, I want to, I want to. That's the difference. It's, it's not I need to. Obviously, I needed to ages ago. That's, that's never stopped anybody. You know, when you get, when you get in those depression spirals, you just don't care. That's, that's just straight up how it works. You just don't care. If anybody's ever experienced that before, you'll know. And if you haven't, I hope you never do. Uh, you might, you probably will. Everybody goes through it. They're, you know, they're different here and there, but you know, everybody has has moments where they just don't give a fuck. And that's what I was in. I'm I'm better now. I, exactly how it happens. What 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 my magical advice would be? I have none. I uh, just I don't know. Just don't give up. Obviously, <laughs> don't give up. I, I was never in that kind of. You know, whenever you talk about this kind of stuff, people always assume that that's that's the 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 desire or anything, and it's not. It, it, it never was. I just. I just lost, you know, I was just, I was just in, uninterested in everything, and I've been able to rekindle that, I try to find a new hobby, get interested in anything, I think Lazo had a really good idea, losing weight, I definitely need to lose weight, you know, you guys don't know I'm fat, I, I, I love, <laughs> the funny thing about being fat is people are really lazy with their insults, some people are better, like, there's some other people who, who really know how to troll you, and there's some people on here that, like, they weren't bad, like, they weren't, you know, if, if, if other people knew them, they're like, why, why would Jamie hate this person so much? Because they never rubbed me the wrong way. But, you know, some people just, ooh, they just rub you the, the straight up wrong way. And that sounded way too sexual, but you know what I mean. And people just, and most people just take the easiest route. They just call you fat. <laughs> so, I mean, if you ever want to not get picked on, I don't know if you have a big nose, if you're ugly, I don't know, you have fucking three eyeballs, just get fat. Everybody will call you fat. Well, I guess it has to be the easiest thing. So if you had three eyeballs, they might go for the eyeballs. I would probably, I mean, you, you'd have to, <laughs> I'm just going to stop, but, but yeah, as I was trying to say, just try to, you know, try to, try to stay interested, you try to find something that you like, I, you know, I have my dog that I love, and I, I like to think of her as like an item, like that has just like a percentage boost, she just has a 10% like happiness boost, anytime I look at her, I just immediately, I'm 10% more happier, baby girl. Whenever I do the face cam things, I'll show her. That's that's how I broke my last face cam or my webcam. I don't know what I'm calling the face cam. I broke my last webcam because I was like pulling on it to like show my dog, and I yanked the cord or something. But hopefully, I don't do that next time because I'm definitely gonna want to try to. Um, so yeah, I guess I'll get into the future a bit. Uh, so I don't really have like any massive plans. I think what we need to do is do a survey and just see where everyone's at. Um, we're at a point right now where, yeah, the server's back, people know I'm back, but there still isn't a whole lot of interest in Revival. Um, I think a key to that is going to be bringing out actual good updates. I mean, the event, I knew, I knew how the event was going to work, so I knew it was going to have this kind of underwhelming effect at first. That was not the intention, I just, I just didn't, I couldn't think of any better ways to make the, the opening exciting for the ideas that I had and that I wanted to. And you'll see soon, uh, the plan is Friday. So this Friday at... What is that? What is the date? Uh, the seventeenth. That's when. That's when it'll be probably late at night. That's usually how I run my updates. I just kind of work on it all day, and then usually around like you know ten, ten to two a.m. is is about when I would finish. I know that that's not convenient for most people. So really, for you guys, it's probably gonna be Saturday morning. But that's that's my plan is to get the next bit of the event. And it, it is an expansion on the event, and it was planned. I, I made sure that there was like. Um, spoilers for it, or teasers, if you will, just so people knew that the event wasn't going to be as underwhelming as it as it started off. But so that's my, you know, that's those are my immediate plans is to get that update out. The update will just also have some other fixes people been talking about. There's a lot of items that have their protection values wrong. Now that people are actually like in the wilderness, scold and PKing, they need to know what's what and what has good value. Um, so just be careful when you're in the wilderness. Um, for example, here's an issue right here of this dude who his dragon legs are protecting over some obviously better items. Now, if it's untradeable, you'll always keep it, but I believe Apex is not untradeable. I think the Silent Gauntlets are, un are, are tradable. So, I mean, he's got, like, and the, the Scepter. Well, the Scepter, if it's charged, isn't. Um, I want to make a full video about that. I was going to do it today, but you're actually going to see this one instead. Um, so, tomorrow or, or the next day... I will have a video showing off the entirety of the Wilderness Weapon Update. I will explain everything, how to get them, every single step of it. I will explain. I will show them off. We will do not necessarily testing videos because I'm pretty, I'm pretty confident where they're at. I mean, we'll, we will show them off, and if we discover anything we don't like, we'll we'll mess with it then. But 
I will have a video showcasing all that. And then I'd like to also do one, like a full, I, I think, like was with my update video, I just kind of like glass, gl glanced over everything and, and didn't really fully talk about everything. I want to do actual videos where I, I talk about those specific ones, at least the big ones. And I think Arcanist Blob, the, the rune crafting rune crafting skill boss is a pretty big one. And the wilderness weapons, I've seen a lot of confusion about them and exactly how they work. Um, so I will make a full video on that. That'll be soon. Um, as far as the big plans for the future, that's what we've got to figure out. we got to figure out, um, in terms of, like, what actual updates do we want? Is it still along the lines of, um, you know, what we wanted before? We, we've got to figure out what the current player base thinks about the game. Obviously, some of the issues we've had before might not be the same. Um, I know that when I was, uh, when I was first going on my break, you know, towards uh, the end of October, I no, I guess it had been, I guess it had been the beginning of October, I don't recall, but. Around that time, uh, the combat was a big issue. Um, it was too underwhelming, so I did make updates about that uh, in the last update, and maybe it was a little overboard. I'm not sure. We have we still got to mess around with it, but um, really, I'm just gonna I'm gonna have a survey out, and it'll be just asking you guys your thoughts and opinions. Please fill it out, even if you don't play the server. Just if you if you think you ever might play a server, or if you just want to provide your opinion, I'll take it. Um, you know, we'll figure out what we want to do from there, what improvements we want to make. And then we'll, we'll see what happens. But I'm optimistic for uh, the immediate future. We do have that, the event stuff I just talked about. Uh, I do know one one boss I'm really excited to work on. I don't exactly have the specifics yet, but there's these bosses on RS3 called Legions. And I was a massive fan of the, not necessarily the bosses themselves, because I never actually killed them. It was just the process of how you get there. You basically just kill these really easy to kill monsters. They drop keys and the keys were really high value because the key, one key was one kill. And then the um, what you were going for was these signets. You needed six signets to make crossbows. So they're basically tier ninety crossbows. You know, you know tier ninety. It's obviously good, good, good weapons. I think there is technically something better nowadays, but I assume at that time tier ninety was the absolute best. So I really like the idea. I like the style of it. Um, it's one of my favorite things on RS3 ever. It's kind of a surprise. I've never done it on Revival yet, but I'm definitely going to. That's one of my big updates. Um, Hydra is around the corner. It does have issues with it where you, um, basically just goes invisible when you attack it. Let me see if I can, like, show you that. We're going to probably move over to my local host so I can show you some stuff real quick. Like I said, a longer video, but if you're at this point, then, you know, you must be watching it, right? <laughs> All right. I mean, you might, you might, uh, shout outs to the people who made it here. I'm not going to do a giveaway because I already have one a big one going on, which if you didn't see, go watch my last Mystery Box Week King video. There is a giveaway on it. A pretty big one. You're going to want to be a part of that if you can. Um, Hydra. Alchemical Hydra. Is this the right ID? 8615. Yeah, cool. So, so I didn't notice it, this at first because when I spawned it, it seemed fine, right? Everything seems fine. That's Hydra. That's cool. I, I mean, I, I don't know if there's anything more to it. I'm not as familiar with these updates as I should be, but the issue is whenever you attack it, it goes invisible. I don't know if it has some sort of particle effect that it's supposed to be doing right now, and that's why. Um, it's the same problem with the mini hydras. That's why those weren't added as well. Um, but whenever we figure this out, hydra will be added, and then the stuff that's supposed to come with hydra. Um, and then we did have one thing I, I, I um, we noticed on my stream the other day, so... So, Boss Invasion, the minigame, you guys should probably be familiar with it. It was basically our interpretation of Raids 2. That's where you get the Raids 2 items. And the reason it was made the way it was made is because the uh, the new data we had at that time was, was messed up. A lot of the NPCs and whatnot were not correct. They had their issues, and um, that I, I haven't messed with it a whole lot. It could be, either, you know... It could be issues I'm not familiar with, but I will show you kind of what they look like now. So this is a big Dark Beast dude. He looks good. So the problem before, and I'll kind of show you what it looked like. He had this big, like, black spiral thing, like, shooting out of his head. It just looked really gross. It was really bad, really glitchy, and it was unacceptable. Uh, all of them were, were like that, and it was it was unacceptable. We just couldn't use them as bosses. But if you look at this dude, looks pretty good. He could be used as a boss, give him Dark Beast animations, which he might have... He might have, I don't know. So you can see there's still potential issues. Whenever you hit him, he has the particle effect, so there's not perfect. But if we just made it so he didn't have a defense animation, we gave him... Uh, I, I'm assuming this could be 
that his attack animation is different from the normal Dark Beasts. Um, but I suppose worst case scenario, we just we just don't give him animation, so he doesn't move a whole lot. Or the ones we do find would be better. Um, and then the only time you would notice that weirdness that I was talking about was when it would die. But even if that was a death animation, you know, we could live with it. So they're kind of better. <laughs> that's that's the point I'm trying to make. Is they are kind of better. This one, you know, it, that I mean, basically it's at a pool, so that's that's correct. But then it has the same issues where it does the flipping out thing. Um, should we do anything with them? That's that's really the question. Should we? And do you think we should like redo boss invasion and make different rewards and then add these as? as the Raid 2 bosses that would drop the Raid 2 items? Do you think we should just make these completely different since we've already gone and created Boss Invasion, you know what I mean? I don't know. Give me your opinions. I probably won't have that as a poll question. I might. Um, I'll have that soon, probably next... Uh, probably not the next video, but um, the one I released Friday. I'll try to. I'll try to have it out then. Um, and then, of course, at any point, you can just give me your opinions if you don't want to fill out a, form, a, a, a survey, you don't want to wait for that or anything like that you can always just give me your opinions if you tell me in game you just like message me and say something to me i'm probably gonna forget so um you're better off messaging me on the forums or um or, or on discord or on you know whatever whatever wherever but not in game because <laughs> i'll probably forget i might not forget i might not some things i remember but probably it's probably best to just have it like in the suggestions, in the bug reports, if it's bug, or just straight up shoot me a message, and I will, I will uh, eventually see it. And if I don't always reply, don't be discouraged. Don't think that I didn't see it. Um, I'm gonna try to do better about replying to people's suggestions, so that they know that that suggestion is why it was fixed or updated or added or whatever. Uh, 27 minutes in, way too too much talking. Um, core core thought process for this video. <laughs> core principles. Core. I don't know. It doesn't matter. That that's 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 core principle number one is it doesn't matter, you know whatever, no one cares. Uh, two, uh, constant updates is the key to revivals success. Uh, revivals revi revivals revival. Um, so that's just what we have to do. We have to update the game and then advertise to people that we have updated the game. Uh, we are working on the forums and their vote sites. Um, so I'll, I'll have more information with that when we're better off. You know, we're still messing with it. We're still trying to figure out what the hell we're doing. Matt's been a big part of that. Uh, big thanks to Matt for helping me out with that. You know, obviously he's working on, you know, anyone knows CSS? I don't. I don't. I don't know anyone who knows anything about the forums. You and me, are. that's all we got. <laughs> that's kind of the problem. I don't, I don't have a very good grasp on how the, you know, how the forums work, how to mess with them, how to make any improvements, positive, you know, but... We're gonna try our best, though. That's 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 what I can guarantee you. We'll, we will try our best to get it presentable. Because even though a lot of people don't use the forums, they still judge the server based on the forums. Um, so I think it's important for us to have good forums. I think it's important to have guides up there because it is a it's an intricate server. There's a lot of you know it's, it's two years old and we've been doing you know pretty. I mean there's there's a lot of updates. Not you know we haven't been consistent the last four or five months, but throughout the entire two year history of the server, we've had a lot of improvements. So. There's a lot of information to learn, and as a new player, that can easily be like that can be intimidating. I, I know how it is. You know, I, I, whenever I come back to RS3 or or whenever I play it again, I always go through this. I'm like, oh, what the hell do I do? What am I? What, what was I supposed to do? What do I need? To, what do I need to loot? What do I? You know, what is my food? You know, I always run into those issues, and it takes a while to get back into the rhythm of things. And I think having better guides, more information available, would help. We'd also like to work on the wiki more. Uh, I think Pond's online right now, just messing around. He's working on one of his series. Or, not a series, he's not, like, making videos. He's just doing it for fun. And, um, you know, I'll talk to him about the wiki. We'll see if we can't work on the wiki more. But, um, yeah, nothing matters. <laughs> I'm going to put cynicism in the title just because I'm, I'm a very cynical person. So it's, like, a big part of how I do anything in my life. I always think about the negatives um, and, and, and obsess on them maybe, maybe too much, but... What can you do? I'll end the video here. 30 minutes. Wow, well, there's way more than it ever should have gone. If you made it all the way in, just type, I don't know, pancakes. Just type, just type pancakes, and I'll hook you up. I got you. I, you know what? No, I just need to start talking more, because now if someone skips all the way to the end, they would hear that and go, oh, nice, I can type pancakes. So now I'm just going to keep talking to, to to make this counter go up to 30. That way, that way if they skip ahead, they, they might not have heard that. They'll just hear this random one. I mean, they like, why is Jamie and rambling? Towards the end of this video, why would he be doing that? That's that's really dumb. I don't like that. It's a really long video, and he's rambling even more just to make the time go even higher. 
I don't I don't like that. And it's not for advertisements as you saw. I don't I don't advertise my videos. So there's there's no point. There's no point to it at all. I I could stop right now. I could click this button. This is the button you use that stops it. But I'm not going to click that button not yet. I'm going to wait until this turns to 4 5 6 7 8 not uh, bye